Yeah, uh, hello guys, it's me Karthik. Hope you guys are doing really good. So in our previous video from the given secret key, we have got the value. Now in this tutorial, what we are going to do is we are going to set up a key from our Spring Boot application and we are going to see whether that key will, you know, setting, you know, it's getting created in the Azure keyword properly and we'll try to retrieve that values. Okay. How to retrieve since we have already learned from, uh, from the previous video, like from the key, how we can get the values right now, let's try to create it. So for that purpose, what I need to do, what I need to have is the name of the secret and what is a value, right? So for that purpose, let me create a POJO so that it will be very easy for me, right? So like, uh, like uh, key, key model, okay, key model, since I'm already having the project Lombok, I'm just using alas constructor, no args constructor and setters and getters okay setter and getter in my corresponding model class here so private string key name and private string key value okay these two are important once we have them ready okay so i need to add them in the model package i forgot that so let me create a package called model first then add this to the model package yeah cool right now let's go to a controller since we have the get mapping here let me take the post mapping now because we are going to set the values right so something like create secret secret as a thing okay public void as of now let's take it as a void method later we will see secret create secret here uh, here request body will be nothing but my uh, key model key model that is our POJO model POJO here. Okay. Then from here, what I can do is okay. Fine. No issue. I can directly use the getters and setters over there. Right? Yeah. Now I have the secret client, which I have already auto it here. So secret client dot here. You see here set secret here. You have to to, you know overloaded method we have it so set secret will be name and value right so let's use this guy name and value how we can get the name name will come from uh, get key name and the value will come from the same get key value okay now you can introduce a variable this let me return directly key secret once i have this secret let me change this void to this okay that's it you don't have to do much then once we get the secret being created with the help of this name i can always use this api to fetch the value right that's what i'm planning to do actually yeah now Let's rerun our application and see whether you know it's working fine or not. In the meantime, let me go to my postman and uh, here let me create a one more endpoint. Copy it and keep it here. This should be the post. Okay, and in the body, it should be raw JSON and it needs to have two variables, right? So what are those is should be key name and key value, right? So let me keep the JSON here like this. 
should be key name like uh, you know key name let's say like phone and uh, key value let's say like i'm using poco right so poco c2 okay yeah i think we are good to go key name and key value correctly set and our application is also up and running now let me click on send here this should create a secret in our azure portal let's see whether it's happening or not now you could see it is trying to uh, connect to the key vault here and uh, it is connected then this is a, a key got created okay this is a key got created with a value of poco c2 and these are the properties okay now name is this and this is a id cool now just go to your key vault and see whether it got created or not click on refresh and you could see in the phone and there you could see value got created poco c2 right yes so this is how you can create a secret using key vault and spring boot i hope this tutorial is useful for you guys if you found it useful what you need to do you need to click on that like share and subscribe to my channel button thank you so much for watching thank you it's me karthik